What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Heaven 17 after a while. And we're gonna move ahead to the next album, 1983, The Luxury Gap, which feels like a thematic sequence following Penthouse and Pavement, which speaks to socioeconomics and elevation, and a gap between the have-nots and the haves. So The Luxury Gap feels like maybe it's playing off of similar ideas, and indeed, the first track on the album is Crushed by the Wheels of Industry. It's a very vivid phrase, a very expressive phrase. It perhaps also speaks to socioeconomics, industry generally speaking, business, construction, development, large-scale projects, whether joint, public-private, or entirely private and corporate. But yeah, it feels like maybe there's a lot of similar themes at play. Crushed by the wheels of industry suggests that the wheels of progress are not always beneficial for everyone and may affect different groups, different communities, different people, different occupations very differently. And of course, 83, we're talking the big business 80, certainly in the United States and the UK, so I feel like there could be some references to the socioeconomic attitudes and conditions of the day. Either way, I'll see what I can pick up on a first listen. This is Heaven 17. The track is Crushed by the Wheels of Industry, and it's from the album The Luxury Gap.
hands up, they can do it, but it's going to take some money. Have what you desire, if and when you see the fact, they will lead us to the land of milk and money. Work all day or work all night, it's all the same. If you want to pay, some bad tankers, some are bankers, some are workers, some are not. This is time for a party. sounded a bit like thunder, but most of the very busy, frenetic, dense sonics of the track felt like they were expressions of industry, electronic sounds, electric sounds, metallic sounds, shuffling, smashing, combining sounds. It felt like there was so much going on sonically. And lyrically, it feels like there was a lot running in the direction, like I was thinking in advance, about big work projects that can make people money and need money to get started in the first place, and which may only have a limited number of seats at the table for people who are involved and, who, and or who will benefit from them, and many people having to work all day or all night regardless of who's making the money. So yeah, it does feel like there were some socioeconomic themes at the fore for this one, and it did seem to speak to big business, corporate-driven industry in which the greatest benefits are for the people who are behind or at the top of the companies who are involved, and maybe less so for people living nearby these projects or, indeed, people working for the companies and on the projects. So, yeah, I feel like there was a lot going on in this one, both sonically and lyrically. A bit of the funk flavor in some moments and the dancing piano keys. There was a, a keyboard run early, which had a very warped electric sound to it. I really like that. As it went along, it felt more true keyboard sounding and jazzy. There were some layers like that swooshing shuffle sort of sound, which felt like it could be some big machine, you know, scraping away metal or whatever is impeding the construction that is taking place. So yeah, just so much going on. And I feel like some of the sonics were reflective of what the track was talking about. So a really interesting opener. Curious to hear what people have to say about this one. Let me know and I will see you next time. Peace.